Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Animal Crossing. New Horizons, specifically, not any other Animal Crossing. Um, so it is June now, and there's some June events going on that I wanted to show off, have a little bit of a look at. Uh, the first thing, we have a look at Nook Shopping. There's something interesting going on with the seasonal events. You'll notice uh, that I have the Winter Solstice sweater. That's because we're in the Southern Hemisphere and it's winter. But I also have the Summer Solstice Crown. Because this is the European version of the game, and I guess they forgot that the European version goes to Australia. Which is where I am. So, um... That's an interesting mistake on their part, I suppose. To tie this to Europe and tie that to Southern Hemisphere so you get them both simultaneously. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's a bit weird. <laughs> uh, another one, another seasonal event, uh, which I think I've discussed on my Fetty account already, so if you follow me, you probably know about this. Uh, but in uh, Nook's Cranny, there's actually an extra slot for special winter-themed items or whatever at the moment. I'll show you once we get in there. There we go. Uh, this space here is for winter-themed items. It showed up, like, uh, like I, th I think last month, ne near the end of the month. Um, it's been showing things like a space heater and this for some reason. It's called celebratory, cel celebratory Candles, but what it is is a canara, which is used to celebrate Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa takes place in December. It it's not a winter thing, it's a December thing. So, it's very weird that they're selling one of these right now. I, I guess they didn't really think about the fact that this game has a Southern Hemisphere when they were setting up some of these seasonal events. Because, yeah. Yeah, they, they seem to have made a few mistakes. Um, the Kinara is actually a new item in this game. It's not in previous Animal Crossing, so it's not like, well, this is our winter set of items, but we won't update it for this game to make sure it's the correct winter set of items. It's a new thing that they've added, and apparently forgotten that the Southern Hemisphere exists when they were adding it. It's very weird. Uh, anyway. Uh, the other thing that I want to show off, which started this month, uh, I don't know if this is because it's, you know, Pride Month, LGBT Plus Pride Month, Queer Pride Month, Rainbow Pride Month, whatever you want to call it. That's the month that it is. Um, and there's actually a thing going on if you go to Harv's Island here. Hey, hey, hey! Welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Cantalot Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger. So, just to get the paperwork all official, where did you want to go? I haven't been to Harv's Island yet, this is my first visit, uh, but I've been told there's an event there to go to, so let's have a look. Huh? Harv's Island? Where could... Oh, I know, you're talking about that island Harvey lives on. Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Time for takeoff. Alright, let's get you airborne. Dodo 1, this is Dodo Tower. Will, but you copy? Got a walker who needs wings. Over. Roger, ready when you are. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would Dodos do? Okay, so Harv's Island. I haven't been there, but I know what it's about. Basically, uh, this island follows the rules of Happy Home Designer. Oh, hang on. Touchdown like flamenco dancing in a microscope. We are parked and proud. Give a quack to wing back. Lime sherbet static. Looks like we've got a whole lot of radio chatter going on over yonder. So basically, Harv's Island, it instead of following the normal Animal Crossing rules, it follows the Happy Home Designer rules, which means if you have an item at all, you have infinity of that item. So you can use, like, all the furniture you have collected to decorate scenes on this island and take photos of them, is the idea. Uh, you can't bring the items back with you, because that would be an obvious, like, way of duplicating everything in the game. <laughs> but you can put down infinite copies of every item. Uh, interestingly, you can't use things like tools on this island. I'm pressing X right now, it doesn't open my menu. You can look at this menu, but you can't look at your inventory at all. Uh, so that's kind of a weird decision. Anyway. 
Hey, I hear you. We're still groovy, and the anniversary shoot's gonna happen. I'm just, like, behind a little. Hmm, well, okay, but what do we do about the lovely sets? Prepping them ourselves would get a bit ticklish. Hey there, thanks for coming. So, I need to borrow you for a minute. Okay, so this here is Reese, and here main squeeze Cyrus. They're married and in love, um, a whole bunch. Far out, right? Anyway, they want to get some anniversary photos made. Fancy ones, with sets and stuff. Because it's June now, and June is wedding season, uh, here they are. June is a whole season now. Whoa. Thing is, I'm cool with lending out my studio, but my wedding sets are running slightly behind schedule. I'd ordered decorations and painted the walls and floor, but then a neat bird flew by and there went... May. Long story, uh, long... Someone's still gotta move stuff around, so it looks wedding-y. Oh, sorry, long story, uh, long. Someone's still gotta move stuff around so it looks wedding-y, and then snap some photos. So, think I could ask you to be that someone? You'd really be helping the shutter dog out. Sounds fun. Really? Wow, you are solid on down. Come on, let's go. So, yeah, basically the event is Reese and Cyrus are celebrating their anniversary by taking some wedding pictures, even though they've been married for a while. <laughs> this is my wedding picture studio. It's, uh, actually my kitchen with some set walls I put up. Let me know if you get hungry. Since it's your first time out of my studio, so let me give you the rundown real quick. You can press down to change the de decor in a studio, just like you do at home. Oh, and speaking of set decorations, I've got a special deal going with Nook Shopping. So if it's in your catalogue, you can just borrow one on the spot to use in your set. Sweet like granola, right? Oh, one thing. If you've got to take five part way through, no prob. But talk to me before you go back in, okay? Otherwise, Reese is in charge, so if you want to know what to do, she's your alpaca. Cool. Cool? Cool. I owe you. Okay, so... I have seen some criticism of this event. Oop, sorry. Hello there, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Reed, I'm just here helping us out. And this is my hubby, my darling. The name is Cyrus, good to meet ya. I just know these photos are gonna be so romantic and just in time for our anniversary. Of course, we do this every year for our anniversary, but it's always special, isn't it? It's just like a slice of life from that year, a delicious slice, almost as sweet as our love. Right, hun? That's right, sweeter than the sweetest Bavarian cream. Oh, you. Such a romantic. Oh. Sorry, I forgot what we were doing for a second there. We just get so lost in our own little world sometimes. Anywho. So here's what we're thinking for this year's photo sets. A recreation of our entire wedding day. And you can help us for making this place feel like we're saying I do all over again. It'll be just like decorating your own place. Easy peasy. Oh, I almost forgot. My amazing Psy guy even built some custom wedding furniture for the shoot. Isn't that so sweet of my schmoopy? He really put his heart into them, so I hope you can make them work. Just open up the event tab to take a look and grab what you want for the shoot, okay? So today I'm thinking we should take a ceremony photo in a place that looks like a wedding chapel. It'll be just like our real ceremony, professing our love for each other in front of everyone. So romantic. What we're looking for is a cute set with plenty of pink and white. Preferably using lots of the furniture my Psy guy made. Just let us know when you're ready for us to start posing. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, so these characters, Reese and Cyrus, they ran the retail shop in the previous game, which is where you would sell items. You could sell stuff to the Nooklings as well, but you got more money if you sold to them. Uh, and you could basically put up items for other villagers to buy in retail as well. And talking to Cyrus is how you customise things. Uh, it wasn't as in-depth as it is in this game, but yeah. So, because you sell things to the Nooks again in, in this game, and in this game there's no retail, etc, etc, they've been relegated to special events instead. Uh, I've seen this criticised because it's asking us to snap photographs of a straight couple every day during Pride Month. However, if you have a good look at them, you may notice that they are trans Pride alpacas. So, honestly, I'm pretty cool with it. <laughs> I've been saying this since New Leaf, they are the trans bright alpacas. Uh, anyway, uh, you may notice that we didn't disappear when we went into uh, editing mode, like the player's still there. We can actually pick ourselves up, 
Uh, this is the thing you could do in Happy Home Designer. So, yeah, this works exactly like Happy Home Designer, which is interesting. Uh, you can also change your clothes if you want. Uh, I probably want something a bit wedding-y. Let's see. Uh, getting married in a nightgown. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that works. Time to wear a white dress to someone else's wedding anniversary. Let's do it. <laughs> and that hairpin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tights. White tights. There we go. No, it's been classier. Maybe those. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, I'm probably ditch the backpack. Uh, take off. There we go. There we go, I'm all ready for your wedding now. <laughs> anyway, um... So that it'll give, yeah, so it gives us special event items. This is quite similar to Happy Home Designer. Whenever you uh, do a special event like this, like, sorry, whenever you build anyone's house in Happy Home Designer, not a special event, whenever you do anything in, in Happy Home Designer, it will give you a list of, like, the items they really like, and you have to put those in as a, as a base for the rest of the stuff. Uh, the other stuff can be whatever you want, but those items are required if you want to succeed. Um, they don't judge you on how good the house is apart from that, so pretty much got a lot of freedom. To do whatever you desire. Also, yeah, you can copy items here, which obviously you can't do in the normal game because that would break some rules. <laughs> um, let's see what else we have to work with. Put a bunch of those up on the wall. Uh, you know, you can also customize things by hitting X like this. Uh, I wish there were a blue one, because then we could have all the colors of the pride up there, but there's not. There we go. So, yellow. Foiled again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, you mess with the lights if you want. Uh, what else should we put in here? We can put in anything that I happen to have. Like, it doesn't limit you to using those items. You can use all sorts of stuff. I can put a bunch of bugs down. There we go. Everything that's in my catalog. So that's basically everything I've ever caught. See? Ant. Fly. Flea. Mosquito. Hermit crab. Hang on, what's tarantula? Yeah! <laughs> Let's fill your wedding with tarantulas. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, it's also all the clothes and stuff. I don't think I can change their clothes, but I can change mine, so that's kind of... Mm, it's alright. Oh, I can put the paintings up. Interesting. So those are the paintings I've collected and taken to the museum, but I have access to them because at some point I've had them. Uh, I can put my own trophies up. I might like that. <laughs> um, hmm. It makes sense to get like a, a podium or something. If I can find one. Hmm. I didn't really think this far ahead. I was mostly gonna, you know, talk about how they're trans and I love them. Anyway, yeah, they're a trans couple. Good for them. Uh, and that's why Reese says Psy Guy so much. She's being gender affirming because she loves her husband very much. It's very cute. Uh, good for them. Oh, Katana, there we go. Yeah, you need swords at a wedding. What kind of wedding doesn't have a sword? Pretty sure I have some sort of podium. Oh, there we go, podium. There we go, that'll do the trick. Uh, I'll shuffle it around a bit once we've decided where I'm putting everything, but yeah, that'll work. 
You'll notice some some things you can customize to get different variants, like the futon there. Whereas uh, these, you just have two separate items. I'm not sure why the game works this way, but yeah, various things that come in different colors are separate items. Whereas other things, you can just customize them however you want. And it's weird. Uh... Actually, I could put a trans pride flag on the wall. I think. Do I have like a something I can customize to put a flag up? Hmm. None of these are showing. Oh, there we go. I can customize the cork board, but I don't think that quite works. Let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, it just changes that one card. So not ideal. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't got a whole lot of wall decorations that can have custom stuff on them. What if I can just go into my designs and drop stuff down? Back to floor. I can actually open my inventory again, but it doesn't really help a lot. Uh, no, I can't go into designs because it goes straight into camera when you press the, the um, ZL button. Interesting. Yeah, I can't interact with any of my stuff. Bring the podium over here. Go out of the way, me. Oop, that's not me. <laughs> Go out of the way, me. Go over there. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't actually have the love reaction, so I can't do that one. I can do this though. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. What if I can use a workbench if I put one down? Let's have a look. I'm guessing no, because you don't really want to use your inventory here, but... Yeah, I can't use it. I can I can talk to it, like, I can grab it and stuff, probably push it around. Yeah, but I can't actually use it. That makes sense, but I'm a little disappointed. What if I get a bouquet like the one you're holding? Maybe you can't see the clothing item? I don't know. Nope. I do have flowers, but I don't think... Oh, maybe... Oh, can I not... Eh, I can't actually wear them. Oh, maybe, maybe I can? Hang on. Sorry, I'm just experimenting because I haven't tried out this mode yet. And I don't really know what's possible. There we go. Uh, I can go into my clothes section here, right? And then I can wear some stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I probably can't hold a bouquet. <laughs> that's alright. This will work. Actually, those shoes don't quite fit. I mean, they fit, but they don't quite go with the other stuff I'm wearing. You can change it up. Hmm. Maybe some flashier glasses? I don't know. Hmm. How about those? I like those. And I put some food on my face. <laughs> okay, um. But yeah, you are allowed to take pictures of you getting married instead, and the game will not complain about that. It's pretty funny. There we go, those look good. Okay. Uh, maybe something else on my head? Headwear... I have a lot of fancy hats in here, but uh, I don't know what would work. 
Maybe something else red? Like it's a combo sort of deal? Mm. Actually, actually, I could put like a white one there. And then pink one there. Yeah, yeah, that's just come together. Okay. Um, the glasses that go with it. Yeah. I think I can change my hairstyle right now because I don't have a mirror. Maybe if I place a mirror, I could. Let's find out. <laughs> uh, I think it's in miscellaneous. Oh, I can. I can use the mirror. Let's do this. You have to rotate in this direction, which is kind of annoying. I guess I can remove myself. I'm not sure how that would work. Yeah, let's tie the knot. Not quite yet. <laughs> oh, it's coming along. Does this mean you're ready for us to start the photo session? Let's tie the knot. Yay, this is so exciting. Um, before we get started, I do have another teensy request. Will you be our photographer? Don't get me wrong, Harvey is great. It's just... This lovely set is your vision, and I want you to realize it. So when you're ready, just press ZL to launch the camera app, and then press 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 plus to take a picture. If you find yourself in the frame you don't want to be, press minus to change what's shown in the frame. Okay, I know we're asking a lot, but I also know you've got this. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Hmm. Oh, I didn't put, put enough swords in. Hang on. I need to make more swords. <laughs> Do -do -do. There we go. Now it's a real wedding. Handles to the middle, yeah. There we go, now there's plenty of swords. Let's go. Oh, okay, I'm to press that to make everyone do the thing. Alright. And if you press minus, yeah, I just disappear, and then I reappear. <laughs> Happy wedding. <laughs> okay, that should do the trick. <laughs> oh, that last one seemed nice. Mind if I take a quick peek? Did you take more than one? I'll just look at the last one if that's okay. Go ahead. Great, now let's see. What a lovely photo. It really captures the feel we were looking for, and it's so sweet of you to help. I do have just one helpful note for you. Some of the furniture could match the theme a bit better. Maybe if you would use themed furniture or customize the color of Psy Guy's furniture to match. Anyway, I have a little something to show our appreciation. I hope you like it. My Psy Guy made it just for you. It's a wedding bench. So we can we get the bench that uh, we just we can see there with the hearts on it, basically. And because I'm just full of surprises, I also have some heart crystals for you. They're so cute that I just hate to give them away, but my Psy Guy likes them too. He'll trade you for furniture. Oh, heart crystals. Once again, thank you so much for everything. You helped us make a wonderful new memory. 
You know, this was so fun. Would you be interested in helping us out again tomorrow? We have the studio space rented for the entire month. Just think of all the different themes we could try. Well, no pressure, darling, but I do hope you consider it. Thanks again. Yeah, I forgot to remove the mirror, so it, it probably messed things up a bit. Also, the katanas are the wrong color, but whatever. <laughs> Well, that's it for now. Of course, we'll be here all month. We'd love to have your help again tomorrow. Uh, you're actually trapped in there because of all these swords. Let me just uh, move those out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Howdy, squirt. Interest in trading those heart crystals for some of my furniture? Reese thinks they're pretty. Hang on. Hang on. Reese gave them to me so that I can trade them to you so that you can give them back to her? All right, deal. All right, what's grabbing you? Okay, so I can get more wedding thingies uh, if I want them. I guess I probably want to get one of each, but I'm gonna need more crystals to do that. Um, I don't know if I can craft these. I'm guessing no, because we're doing this little weird mini game. So, hmm. for the moment, I think I'll wait and save up some more crystals. Oops. Press the wrong button. <laughs> it's no fleece off my hide, squirt. You're doing me a favor, so take all the time you need. Oh, whoops. There we go. Okay, um, that's that event. <laughs> we can have a look around. Uh, there's not a whole lot we can do out here. Uh, you can't get rid of these fences and stuff, so you can't really explore the island. Uh, and you can't use your tools either, so you can't, like, vault over or climb up the slopes or anything. It's pretty much just this little piece. It's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, we're gonna head back now. I believe we unlock a new, uh, in-game feature when we talk to this bird here, after doing that. Attention, fledgling. This squawk has got a transmission for you. Yes, you, Danielle. Dodo Wellens is now dabbling in item delivery and liquidation. Services start here, now, for you. Copy? See, you can flap all you want, but an overburdened bird will never get off the ground. Copy? You got when I'm squawking? Sometimes you gotta do more than just flex your wings, you gotta ditch some cargo to fly free. Copy? Copy. So, feel free to offload some of your goods with us. We can send them to your home base or buy them outright. Let me just make sure I've got my beak on straight so I can plot out the flight plan for you. First, let's talk delivery. We'll ship your goods, safe and sound, straight to your home storage. And we won't bombard you with pesky handling fees, so fly high and book as often as you want. As for liquidation, well, let me just confirm that dodos are collectors. Maybe your intel on that was lacking. But it's true, and this service is for those who want to unload some of their excess baggage for extra bells. With Nook's Cranny, our partners on the ground will buy your packages for what you'd get via their Dropbox. Funds will fly straight to your Bank of Nook account tomorrow, so keep that info on your radar. That's all the Dodo info on these new services for now. Dodo Airlines, over and out. So basically, um, when you're visiting like a mystery island or whatever, you can now have them send stuff to your home storage, which is super helpful, or you can have them send stuff to the Dropbox at Nook's Cranny, which is also pretty helpful. It would be better if they could sell things directly to Nook's Cranny and you got the money right away, but that's not an option. Um, and I guess that might be a bit of a cheat if you did that in the middle of the night when Nook's Cranny is supposed to be closed. I don't know. But basically, yeah, it, it's the same as selling things at the Dropbox. Trainwreck Poundcake is reporting Tango Ice Skating as go. Do you require assistance? Over. I'm ready to go home. You want to bust Bunsen burners and bounce back to Cherry Town? Um, I guess it is Cherry Town. Like, cherries are my native fruit. <laughs> yep. Roger. Let's pack snacks and make tracks. Bow, bow, bow. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to look at in this video. The main thing was visiting the Trans Pride Alpacas and taking some pictures of them. Um, I guess I'll do that again tomorrow, but I won't record it again. I'm just, just going to do it once for you to see, now that you've seen it. Um, you know what the deal is. I don't know if I'm going to upload this before the month is out, but if I do, you'll, you'll know about it before the month is out. Oh yeah, it's snowing, that's right. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, um, minor tip, the reason these are on tables is having loose items on the ground is bad for your town rating, but having items on tables like this is completely fine, so you want to put your recipes and stuff on tables. 
Um, I guess furniture on the ground is fine, but things that aren't furniture are bad? I don't know. It's a little vague. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next time, maybe another game, maybe more of this one. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Um, bye! <laughs>